trying to cover a large area. Uh, if you're doing residential turf, you're limited on what you can put down and still get crabgrass control. But for a sports complex like that, we can run Ronstar. And the advantage of running Ronstar over Pro Diamond is that Ronstar is not a root pruner, but it doesn't prune as bad as Pro Diamond. So you can get a lot more uh, aggressive runner development to actually tack down versus Prodiamine where you'll get these super long runners but you know for six seven eight inches that runner has not even tacked into the ground which you know if you're trying to fill in a large area you need those to tack down especially if you want it to come back the next year so anyway there was a whole host of issues on the front end but we've got them pretty much solved now and uh, we, the same trouble areas we ended the season with last year are the same trouble areas we had this year, but uh, with the new fertility program, you know, not running pro um we're going to be able to get those grown in this year, no problem. Uh, one of the other cool things I sprayed today is called Cytogrow. Uh, basically, it's a plant hormone, uh, cytokinin. Um, and basically, it's kind of like Super Thrive, but marketed towards turf professionals, turf and ornamental professionals. Um, if you were to price it out gallon by gallon, it's probably the exact same price and it's probably the exact same product. Um, if you've ever used Super Thrive, it's a good product. I had a neighbor that used to sell plants using Super Thrive and it worked like a dream. I mean, he could get buds to develop on a Rosa Sharon that was, you know, 80% uh, dead. So, I mean, it's a, it's a, a product that apparently works um, anyway the new chemical rep uh, is basically just sold them on uh, some cider grow so I sprayed that at uh, an eighth of an ounce per thousand square feet on the game field so I'll be able to monitor what kind of progress we get there versus the, uh, the practice field uh, for now I'm going back over to another Bermuda grow in um, I'll be curious to see what it looks like. We sided the front yard, uh, a little bit of the backyard, but the majority of the backyard was seed. Um, the seed's been down four weeks now. Um, I have fertilized it twice. I'm probably going to fertilize it again today. And I plan on uh, spraying uh, some quinclorac uh, to target you know, any, any kind of crabgrass or whatever's growing through it. So anyway, that'll be kind of a new uh, progress check up there. So. Everyone just showing, uh, I came out here to do my, my next application on this yard. And I always kind of, kind of giggle when I get this, this sort of, uh, sort of compliment. But, but here in my yard here, we got a sign that says yard of the month. Oh, all right. It's not always that, that I get those in my yard, but hey, you know what? I'll take them when I can get them. It's a compliment to me. It's a compliment to the homeowner. We all come out happy on it. So anyway, I'm gonna hit this yard with some fungicide and hopefully keep it looking great. <laughs> 